Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the Eckhart Yoga YouTube page. My name is Rose. I'm one of the teachers over on the website. And today we have a lovely, short and sweet, stress-relieving class for you. And we are lucky enough to be accompanied by the wonderfully talented Fred Westra and his music. And he has been so generous to gift that music to us to use for free. If you enjoy it, then please check him out. The links are down below. You can follow this playlist. You can follow him. You can support him as an artist. And he will help us to melt away in this little practice. For this flow, it would be nice to have something that you can place on your belly for the end. So that could be a pillow I have here, like a little couch pillow, could be a blanket. And if you have it, something to put over your eyes for the end is also always really nice and relaxing. But none of this is mandatory. All that you really need is yourself and a mat. So when you're ready, come and join me. All right, so we're going to start this practice lying down on our back. So when you're ready, come and join me. Come and lie down, place your feet a little wider than your hips, and let your knees fall into each other. Let your arms open out nice and wide to the side. Get nice and cozy, so snuggle your shoulders in and lengthen your spine, lengthen your ears away from your shoulders. Close your eyes when you're ready. And take a nice big breath, maybe a sigh, maybe even a yawn. And with that exhale and with your next few exhales, imagine that you're letting everything melt. Let yourself come into this place of almost like a standstill. You've taken the time you're here. So give yourself complete permission to be fully present and to really drop into relaxation for this little practice. And we're gonna start doing that by feeling the weight of the body on the floor. especially in the back of your head, your shoulders, your hips, and your feet. Let the muscles in your face, your jaw, your throat, chest and belly completely relax. And then begin to just gently watch your breathing. Letting your breath be your anchor into the present moment. And start to let your breath move a little fuller, a little slower and deeper all the way into the lower belly. So as you inhale, breathe all the way down towards the hips. And as you exhale, let everything go, inviting this relaxing, soothing type of breath. As you keep letting the whole body be soft. And we're gonna keep this way of breathing throughout our entire practice, but just add some windshield wipers of the legs here. So when you're ready, you can keep your eyes closed if you like. Just lift your knees so that they're over your heels. So feet stay on the floor, just the knees open. And as you exhale, let your knees roll down to the left as you roll your face over towards the right, stretching away. Inhaling back up through center. Exhale, take your knees to the right, nose to the left. And keep going like this for a few rounds, almost in a very lazy way if that feels good so you're keeping everything nice and heavy just rolling from side to side back of the head heavy on the ground the next time that your knees are to the left nose to the right stay there for a breath or two for a twist maybe really reach that right arm up and away so that you find space and length in your right side body and breathe there Letting any tension and tightness release from your torso. 
letting your spine open up. Inhale gently back up to center and exhale twist it in the other direction. So knees to the right, nose to the left. Reach that left arm slightly up and away by your ear. So you lengthen through the whole left side of your body now. Keep the face soft, maybe the eyes are still closed. Breathing deeply. Imagine your breath could melt away any tightness that you're feeling. Inhaling next, come back to center. And now bring your knees in towards your chest. So you can hold the front or back of your knees with your hands and just draw your knees in and start to roll little circles with your knees over your hips. Just as a way to gently release any tension in your sacrum and in your lower back. So rolling them around. Keep that gentle, heavy, slow breath. And then change directions of your rolls. And this movement as well is nice and lazy. Good, from there we're gonna hold onto the backs of our knees and gently roll over the spine. And we're gonna come to hands and knees now. So towards our tabletop position, so have your fingers spread nice and wide underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, belly drawn ever so slightly in. As you inhale, begin to arch your back, lift your tailbone, draw your chest forward, look up, lift your gaze. And as you exhale, round your spine, curl your belly button in and up. And keep moving like this on your breath, just flexing and extending your spine. Again, you can close your eyes if you like. And just move as if you were trying to massage open your entire upper body. So if you feel like you would like to roll out your hips or roll out your neck and shoulders, feel free to do that. Let it become a little bit more freestyle if you like can pull your weight slightly more backwards or draw it more forward if that feels good. We tend to hold on to quite a fair bit of tension in the back and in the shoulder, so let's take the opportunity here just for a few more breaths to roll this out. Good. Eventually, when you're ready, we're going to meet each other in a puppy dog pose. So meaning, keeping your hips over your knees, walk your hands forward, and let either your forehead or your chin and your chest come down towards the mat. If you would like a little bit of extra opening for your shoulders, you could choose to bend your elbows with the palms of your hands together for prayer position of the hands. Either way, you want to feel a nice stretch through the front of your body, through your chest. And imagine that you're letting your heart melt down towards the ground. Just taking about three breaths here. Soften any tension in parts of the body that don't need to be working. Then on your next exhale, really gently engage your belly and bring your hands back down. Walk them in, take your big toes together, your knees apart, and sit your hips back into a wide knee child's pose. Forehead can release down towards the floor here. Take a breath into your lower back. If you like, you can gently sway your hips from side to side here. As you just release through the lower back. And keeping your hips where they are, just walk both of your hands over towards the left, maybe even reaching your right fingertips over the left ones so that you get this nice lengthening through the right side of your body. Just take a few deep breaths here. Soften your shoulders, your face, and your neck. Then as you inhale next, gently come back through center. And as you exhale, walk over towards your right, maybe reaching that left arm or hand over your right, reaching your forehead towards the ground, lengthening through the left side of your body, breathing deeply here. 
And see if you can make your exhales just ever so slightly longer than your inhales. Nice full slow breaths really helping the body and even the mind come into a relaxed state. Good, one more inhale here. And then we'll gently come back through center. From there, come on to hands and knees. Spread your fingers, tuck your toes, and just for a moment, press up into your downward facing dog. From your down dog, as you inhale, reach your right leg up, and as you exhale, step it forward between your hands. Lower your left knee down to the floor. Inhale, come up, lift your arms, and as you exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll open your chest, draw your hands down and back for a moment, open your heart here. Take one nice deep breath. And then on your next exhale, bring your hands back down to the floor. Tuck your toes. Step it back into your down dog. Inhale, reach your left leg up and back. And as you exhale, step it forward. In between your hands, lower your right knee down. Inhale, come up with your arms. Open your chest. And as you exhale, interlace your fingers the awkward way around this time. Press your hands down and back. Open and lift. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more full inhale. And as you exhale, hands to the floor. Pick up your back knee. Step your right foot forward now. And just dangle for a moment over your legs. Your legs can be bent. Head hangs heavy. Then inhale, slowly roll up to standing. Reach your arms up and over. Open the heart for a moment. Hold your left wrist with your right hand. Bend to the right. Breathe. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, change hands. Bend to the left. Inhale, lift back up. Release your hands. Open your feet about as wide as your hips. Toes pointing out. And as you exhale, squat down. Help yourself from there onto the floor. Then come to a seated position. Extend your left leg out in front of you. Open through the chest as you inhale. And as you exhale, fold forward over that leg. Let your upper body bow forward here. If you like, you can take your cushion over your leg and just fold. Just for two more breaths here. Gently lift as you inhale. Change legs, so extending your right leg forward, left foot towards the inner thigh. Open through your chest as you inhale, and as you exhale, surrender almost the upper body forward. Let everything become heavy. Soft face, soft shoulders, soft arms. Doesn't matter how far forward you come, just let the tension release from your back. And as you inhale, neck slowly come up again. Bring both of your knees in. Take your pillow or your blanket if you have it. And also if you have something for over your eyes. And we're going to come and lie down. And we're going to have something on our belly like this. Something to hold on to. So again, you don't need it. But if you have it, it's a nice cushion or a blanket. You could either extend your legs for full shavasana. Or take a reclined butterfly with your feet together, knees apart. Or repeat the position that we started in with your feet on the floor. Feel free to place something over your eyes for some extra relaxation. And if you'd really like to soothe yourself, then you can rest your arms over top of this thing that you're holding on your belly. Snuggle in your shoulders. Make sure your neck is nice and long. When you're ready, close your eyes. Take a nice big breath in through the nose. Maybe out through the mouth. Feel the effect of that little bit of movement on your body. And let everything become really nice and still. melt away any sense of tension 
any carrying of what isn't yours, any rush or hurry, and just be still here with me for a moment, nothing to do or to be. Full permission to rest. Let your eyelids soften, your jaw, maybe even slightly allow the outer corners of your mouth to turn upward. Breath slow and deep into your lower belly. Relaxing. Of course, you can stay here for as long as you like, so please stay for longer, if you want to. In fact, if you have time, I highly recommend it. Otherwise, you can begin very gently deepening your breath again, providing just a little bit more energy back into your body. can gently start to move your fingers and toes. Maybe on an inhale, taking a nice big full body stretch. Moving any cushions and blankets to the side on an exhale, you can gently roll onto one side, resting there for a breath. And then gently help yourself back up to a seated position. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Give yourself permission to stay relaxed for the rest of the day, maybe. Thank you so much for joining me here today. This class is a short version of a longer one we're doing on this site, so if you enjoyed this, feel free to check it out in the link down below. I wish you a lovely, beautiful, and relaxed rest of your day. Namaste.